Here's an example of what compression does to a vertebral motion segment. Compression will expulse or export disc fluid out into the vertebral body. Fluid squeezes out of the disc and reduces the disc height between the two vertebral bodies. This causes the facets to shingle and the disc to bulge. Now with treatment, we can render a decompression movement to allow the disc fluid to actually be absorbed through the end plate, which is the interface between the vertebral body and the disc. As the two vertebrae are spread apart or pulled axially, decompression will cause the fluid, which is primarily water and nutrients to, to be absorbed into the disc, causing a net height gain.